Hi everybody, Molly here, and I wanted to read to you one of my favorite books about springtime. It's called And Then It's Spring by Julie Foliano, and the illustrations are by Erin E. Stead. And Then It's Spring. First, you have brown. All around, you have brown. Then there are seeds. And a wish for rain, and then it rains. And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. And is that a little green? No, it's just brown, sort of brown. Then it is a week. And you worry about those little seeds. And if maybe it was the birds. Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping because bears can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. And then it is one more week. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. And then it is one more week. And a sunny day. That sunny day that happens right after that rainy day. And you walk outside to check on all that brown but the brown isn't around. And now you have green. All around, you have green. The end. So I'm still waiting for the green to come to my yard, but one thing we have found, and maybe you'll find some too, are some acorns. They were sprouting. And what I did was I brought them in, and I put them in a jar, and I put a wet paper towel in there too, and I waited and waited, and the roots got bigger and bigger. So I hope you'll head outside and find some signs of spring too. Let me know what you find. Bye.